What is going on guys, it is Tech Simulator and in this video I will be talking about Apple's new spring event that happened just in the last 24 hours on Monday the 9th of March and let's get on with the video. So mainly in this event what Apple have done, they've talked about their two new main things that they've introduced into the Apple range, which is the new smartwatch, which I'm pretty pumped to see, and the new MacBook. Now you might just say, new MacBook? Well they've approved some specs into the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air with the new Force Touch uh, trackpad, but I'm not impressed with that either. They've released a new MacBook, as in a new range. I'm not talking about the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro. It's a new MacBook, which is 12 inches with a retina display, and it has new features, new everything. But the thing that I'm not impressed with is just that it does not make sense. Because if you look at it in a way of a YouTuber or someone that likes to create video or content like this, or maybe app developing, this is not the thing that you would need. Even This is just something that you would take on travel because it's compact and the thinnest MacBook ever created because it's 13.1 millimeters thin. But according to other things that you might want to do, it's not that necessary to buy. It's $12.99, about a thousand pounds in the UK now, which I'm not happy about the pricing either because all it is is like the Surface Pro 3 in a way, but with Apple specs and Apple integration, which is okay as in okay they've done something new they've took a different step which I like that they've tried to make new innovations and Apple will already be thinking of creating the next MacBook because Apple is always on the go to creating new things new experiments new everything so in this spring event Apple have actually announced a MacBook which will be releasing in April hopefully and this MacBook will include because due to the size, because it's 13.1 millimeter, uh, 13.1 millimeters thin, it will include these cached slim batteries, and this will be all day life battery, which is great. It's a fanless MacBook. For the first time, there's a fanless MacBook. This notebook ha is completely fanless, so there will be no sound produced by this netbook. I mean notebook, sorry. And this is great, but. In terms of the, the things that they've actually done to the chip, they've actually decreased the motherboard, I believe, or the chip that they call, and it is an Intel Core M, I got to say that, but it's a 2.6 gigahertz maxed out at $1,599, which is okay, but in terms of, it's like an iPad, but with a keyboard attached to it with a trackpad. So all it is, it's available in gold, silver, and space gray. My choices are silver and, uh, and gold, because they uh, the silver looks like the original Mac book and all the other Macs range. But in terms of the gold, the gold just looks so fancy and so great. I would might just pick up the the gold just to review this product. But in terms of other stuff, Apple have not done a very good job at what they do in their standards. But okay, we'll see next time what Apple does. But this time, Apple, okay, they've done quite well with, they've created a new MacBook, but this time it's okay. Talking about the smartwatch now, the smartwatch, the smartwatch is a very good, great device. It's like the Samsung Gear, but much approved. It's much better. It has many other things, especially when you can call, call Uber cabs with it. Because I'm a really big Uber fan. I call many Uber cabs. I actually just go at, on Uber because I'm still a student. I can't drive at the moment, so I go on Ubers quite a lot, uh, quite frequently. So, yep. But there's many other apps like the Traffic app, and there's others uh, which Apple have invented. Uh, in, well not invented, they've developed into the this uh, smartwatch range but uh, talking about this Apple Watch so guys the Apple Watch comes in two sizes the 38mm and the 42mm now it comes in three editions price starts at $349 and the three editions are the sport edition which is I believe the cheapest edition and the iWatch edition and the edition, which is the limited edition, which is the gold, the 18 karat gold, which Apple have made inside a watch, and the material of the watch is 18 karat gold, which is 
amazing for Apple's watch, what they've done to their technology and what they're actually making with this watch. The iWatch is the stainless steel one, which is my favorite because the material that they have used to make this watch is fantabulous. I love what they've done with the material. And the other watch, the sport watch, is made out of aluminium. Very good. It's, it's a new design. It's like the material that has been used on the iPhone, which is great. We would like to see something like this in three designs, but we would. the best part would be if it comes in the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus in stainless steel. So guys, more stuff that Apple have done apart from the watch and the MacBook that they've introduced. They've also done some more improvements into the other devices except from the iPad I don't think they ever talked about the iPad in the whole of the spring event and uh, neither the iMac but uh, they've improved the MacBook uh, range they've improved uh, not even improved they've made a new smartwatch which is great to you I'm pretty pumped to see this watch because I've been waiting quite a lot of time since last year to see this watch now being released in, on the 24th of April but pre-order start from 10th of April which I'll, as soon as the pre-order starts I will pre-order it w because I'm really pumped about this watch and yeah so guys this is the end of the video and I will be making more content like this please hit that subscribe button for more content like this and hit that like button if you really like the video and that's about it guys and I'll catch you next time